there are certain standards you have set about your life you go against them and here you are still complaining and worrying what has happened not knowing you were the one that break the standards but listen we're giving god the glory because this is a brand new morning you should be seeing me clearly matter of fact you should be hearing me clearer drop some likes just to see if somebody is hearing me before we can go and do it and speak as well make sure everything clear everything nice good morning again morning smokers wagwan we clear everything good yo my brother over so herb god wagwan tell me if you not hear me clear because all right then the light let me go meaning so now I hear me clear and if you are hearing me clear let me just stop in my track just to say good morning welcome to another day and morning smoke and guess what if you are here today understand that you were hmm, planted and meant to be here because the leader say it in the light this you know great man and woman were born for a time like this and if this morning I wake up and see that you are here that means you were definitely designed to be here on a day like this. Matter of fact, you were set apart. Matter of fact, you were given the opportunity and the responsibility to be yourself today. That's why he had created you. Matter of fact, listen to me. He said, I created you special, extraordinary, out of the dif a difference. Yeah. But you being here this morning is definitely needed. When we say you being here this morning is definitely needed. So if you get up on the wrong side, I bet. Not feel no type of way. Because whatever bad you think it is, got about for work it out for something good for him. So I could just say that. So I just look to the heaven. Stop what you are doing. I'm fine. Some thanks to give. Father God said, so two or three are gathered touching anything concerning him, there he will be. So I understand that they're on some different, different platform this morning, but as one true believer, they are there. Now, I never said true Christian or true, true church goer. My talk, true people of God are willingly understand who say, one greater being than them is here in the midst that grant them the opportunity. Now, when we think about that, realize that no man on earth can ever grant us this opportunity because we ourselves could not even give ourselves another extra hour. I'm going to try telling you this man in my beat. You know? Yeah, man, after me up on the road with the team last night, man, I realized that I come in after four. I said, Father God, I know I said, I don't really have the strength to get up. But then the man said, No, I have standard. I have standard where I want to live by. I have standard. I have standard where I need to apply. And one of that is get up and do what I need to tell like evil, do what I'm tired. So it's all right for we'll going to another topic this morning and going to say that it's standard. Yeah. That makes sense? Yes, it's going to make some right now. Because you realize that in all situation, there are standards. In your job that you are in now, there are certain standards. In your relationship that you are in right now, there are standards. And then in your school or whatever study you are doing, there are standards. Right? But also in your belief. You can't do go away, did it? It has standards. And that is something we are going to stress, man, today. Now, prime, I like a story. I drink my tea still in the car. I find out that from the other day, every time I make my tea, and then I start the morning smoke, like I want to go, decoration. My tea is not a decoration. My tea is not decoration. My tea is something when needed, like right now, and a standard. Because if I drink this tea, I go feel bad. I may feel that way, so I say, if I take, my, take a stop and drink my tea for the life, I have to drink my tea. My mother say, at life, when I try to create a scenario when I real. Today, I need my tea. And it, it, it needed me. But anyway, when we talk about standard, what are some of the stuff that actually come to you, to your mind? Right? So there was a story, a real story now. When my friend talked to tell talk this, I make a use it. Right? So my friend they gone to a certain restaurant, go to a restaurant and because they're still in company and inside of the restaurant, being Jamaican, anywhere we go in the world, we are gonna be Jamaican Jamaicans have standard. Have you said that? 
Jamaicans have standard or our culture of a certain amount of standard or we're supposed to try to live by. So culture of standard, I could just use that more anyway, the story with the uh, the person at the restaurant now, you know. For example, me use my brother. I see Andrew in our restaurant and me a pass. And I say, yo, my dog, yo, my virgin, what I want? Behave in a certain type of way, you know. Restaurant today in a particular era. And we go inside and start being nice and management forward to me. Now, this is a story. Somebody has happened to me, just I use my name. Only can get if you understand. Side, so put me in a problem. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to a restaurant and me and John me say Anjo. But we deal with him a certain type of way like how they're talking at the street fair. So when we actually do that now, the management come to me and say this is not the place for it. We have standards set in this place. Fair enough, fine. Okay. Your standards are set. Let's act on them now. Not a problem. Sorry for making so many noise. Now the lady want me to sit down at this, probably seat in the restaurant fair. Now when I'm sitting in the restaurant now, I expect a certain standard because you have stated to me this is not the restaurant for this. So now I'm supposed to receive a certain type of treatment fair. Sitting at the table now realize there is no utensils around my area. That's a problem. Because you are now telling me that this is a top-notch restaurant but yet still it doesn't do top-notch things fair now your waitress come to me ask me what i need without even ask me if i would like a cup of water no again there are standards that you say you have that you're, you're not living by so now hold on switch it over back to a little place where this makes sense like this no officer relationship have standard you go in the relationship with a son, with, with a bar that you are about to meet or you're not going to pass. So you have to stand that. And the person said, I am thus. But deep down in the relationship, them change. How you feel when them, them they stick to their standard? It allow you now to roll and behave a lot different. Fair? Because you also have standard. Right? Now, if you supposed to work with me, and I tell you that my job start at 7 o'clock and at 5, did you know if you decided to work with me, you should be at work at 7 and then off the clock by 5? Again, standards. Where I go with all of this, Scotty? Where this really I go? Because you know morning smoke is after and always and going to speak on the Holy Ghost is whereby the Holy Spirit, God Himself, has standard for us. Standard that we should be living by. Standard that we should be applied. Make a look on it this way. If you read the Bible and I read the Bible, we realize that we buck up on a lot of things called the shepherd, when I'm never they say the shepherd is talking about Father God, the one that gives us light, the one that brings us the places that we need to go wherever we need to go. Fair? Mm -hmm. Now, when you hear that about shepherd, some way along that line, there is going to come a word called sheep. Shepherd, sheep, sheep, shepherd. That that makes sense? Like, if that doesn't make any sense. <sighs> Now, with a shepherd, a shepherd, shepherd carry out him sheep them in the morning. Right? We go get green grass or a greener grass at a certain pasta, certain place, fair? And then in the evening, carry them back. And at the house, them have a perimeter now where the sheep supposed to stay in. You can say that like probably one pen. The pig and all of the animals are going So I say one sheep. I don't know the exact right name. I don't tell you like. I don't know the exact name. But one pen. And now the shepherd believe that when we place the sheep them here, they're going to stay there. Right? Now one of the alleys be stubborn and one escape. Let's not go there. But then the shepherd leave the pen where that standard it's supposed to stay within the perimeter. 
stay within the area now it's going to probably be a circle with that standard it's telling us that you are allowed to do what you should or what you can within this area but if you go against it it may be a problem this is where they tell us that the sheep last and if the sheep last the sheep are going to go for that one sheep there. standard because they may still not understand where I go with all of this before you understand where I'm going with all of this do you have standards? do you have standards that you set that you're not supposed to go beyond them but you're going to stay inside of them as the shepherd had assigned you to mm. Do you have standards? <laughs> standards whereby you are willingly not going to break them. You choose not to break them. Because you realize if I go outside of this boundary, this is danger for me. Now let's go back to the first topic. The restaurant. If standards were stated that this is what it is and I go in there the, 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 the teacher and the teacher the restaurant manager have all right to throw me out throw me out you know, and tell me say, this is not good for me because this is not what we stand for so if that's not what they stand for and they're willing to throw me out because I don't work according to their standards are you willing to throw the stuff out of your life that doesn't line up with the standard that you set? This is the stuff that come in. Enough. Let's now go places where one way, I mean, I really want to go there, you know, but I realize that this is a general topic. It not, does not happen to me, one. I can't say that kind of not like Papa English or I like us still, you know. It does not happen to me one. Yeah, it does. I mean, the English part, yeah. It does make sense. It doesn't happen to me by myself. I know it happened to a lot of people where we go in a relationship and we set standard. No, this is something I believe in a big, 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 you know. But I never hear talk about it. I'm going to feel like I want to talk about it this morning. Why did I stress me last night? Why did I stress me last night? We go home place expecting a certain things and you know, come out that way. And I'm asking myself that, is it that the same thing when we go in relationship or we go in places or we plan to do certain stuff and we set standard and you know, come out to our one? What would you do then? But more you ask yourself first, what are the standards that you have set in your life that you realize that you go above them and you're reaching a problem? Now go back to the shepherd again. If the shepherd had made a spot for these people, for blah, 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 we're going to one place. If the shepherd had made an area for the sheep to stay in and then jump out of it, would they mean a problem? And I'm asking you this morning, what standards have you set in your life and you are going over them, going less than them, and you feel like life is going to work out the same way? It's not going to work out. It's not going to work out. And this is one big thing for me. I have set standards in my financial part of my life. I'm going to realize that weekly, I'm going to go against the standards that I have set and me not a problem right now. Me in a problem right now, and I'm asking you, has that happened to you? Because my name is Monk, and something happened to me where I have to come back and talk about in a certain way where it helps everybody where we can help. You know? So I'm asking you again, what are the standards that have, you have set in your life that you find yourself going against them and feel like it's okay? Go back to the shepherd. The shepherd leave a certain standard for them to stay. Lead my brother, big up yourself, my fam. Heart full of love and blessings, my G. Every single time, Father, Lidge. Every single time. But we ought to see. We do what we're supposed to do. And those are standards that we set for say. Every Sunday morning, no matter what happen, the standard is going to pull up 7 o'clock. Like this man who may lead for 3 minutes, but for the last 3 years, we set a standard or we ever live by. And me said to myself, Zakoti, if you're going to live by the standards for bringing up man in smoke, what are the other standards in your life that you need to start living by? And it dawned on me. 
And I realize that there is so many areas of my life where I set out a certain standard to live by. When I know I go work, I will look on it, put the book to the paper, and I'm not applying most of them. And here I am today, wondering what has happened. But then I understand that I have go against my standards that I have set. And we can now say, no, I can now say, because I don't know about you, you know, but we can surely say it is still like this. Whereby, there are certain standards you have set about your life, you go against them, and here you are still complaining and worrying what has happened. Not knowing you were the one that break the standards. But guess what we do though? When we break the standards and it doesn't work, which they will never work, we tend to blame something, somebody, some, something. Oh, you, no! Stop it! Stop it, stop it, stop it. And I make it up this morning, one and try to find somebody if he does blame my things, them pan to say, yeah. I you make me not live by these standards. I you make me not behave like this. But then me have a look back and think back. Say, cut yeah, your fault. Nobody no put no the standards in that you set for your life because you never write them by your forehead, write them by your shirt, and tell them them have to obey them. You have them in your head. And you're going in one situation, or you're going in one career, or you're going in any little thing with them. You brought them. And then plan to blame them. But somebody now let's go back to what we say we're standing on. Let's remind ourselves today. The stuff the most say we, we stand on. And we are going to live by them. Now, this uh, one problem I think most of us have. Which I had. Was I have set a certain amount of standard for myself. And situation have me changing but i didn't change this because your standards can change you know? your standard can upgrade and you can realize say, this now may have to relearn and not do it that way here and do it a certain way i'm like oh god said if 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 standards are not set you're not living by a room by no rules that mean you're, you that no what that while you just have freelance, you just have to go someplace. But anyway, we have set certain standards against about our life that we see if we had applied, it bring we to another level at a certain point. But then when we not apply it and then I reach this, so why we still are all on to it like it's working, it's not. I may have realized that this man in a certain situation that I have set certain standards and it's not working. I realized I was the one that break them. So this morning, I try to help somebody say the standards that you have set in your life and then they're really applying right now. It's your fault. It's your fault. Stop blame he, she and the old lady. It's your fault. Your fault. Why am my fault? And if we have a man in smoke, I can remember say we have a act life. Because we act rest attack to Humble open and transparent that we need to be true to ourselves first to realize that there are certain stuff that about us that has been changed is because we change them we tend to see something else that not what we said it wasn't the standard that we had given ourselves and today me going to ask you what are some of the stuff that you set out to set in your life and today them now nah, come to nothing at all Find out which part you were the you were the problem. Find out where in it what you have done to make it become a problem. Now, me not speak a particular area, but the method of what me I said to you, more apply it to your finance, apply it to your love life, apply to apply it to your happiness, apply it because we don't know to only set standard for relationship like the type of person we would need and them have to look a certain type of way and them have to come with a certain type of things. You know? We set standard for the joy that is in our life. We set standard for the peace that is in our life. We set standard for the happiness that we receive. Like this is what we want and nothing less. 
We set standard in our food and you can't give me nothing worse than this if I come to a restaurant that you have like we have standard but what are the standards of our life that we have set and now change because we think say now nah, work out because we have not applied them. We think about them and we know them can work. But because we fail one day upon them we say no it not work like go back to them. But pray and hope for me I said to somebody like I at least one somebody understand. At least one somebody see say, you know, say certain the standard of me is set for my life. I'm not really applying them and it allow me to live that certain type of way that I don't like. And as my friends say, yo, we're just wild kind you know, of rules. So you have certain rules where you need to put, implement like the setback in your life and say this never live by no matter what. Man in smoke this and that. anything forward to brain, I go I go forward to you. Never break your rules or your standard for nothing or no one. But like that my fam. Because God Himself set certain standards for certain stuff against certain standard can improve or upgrade. It can. But if you apply it straight across the board, like if it often makes sense. And when the job that compared to what happened, we fail ourselves. Because that show me one big thing now. Where if you drop the standards for your own life, that mean it allow everybody and anybody supposed to drop them too. Because you have done it and it's okay. And that's what we're seeing. And that's fine. Fair? Prime example, I could just use this. I could use relationship, I could use relationship. Why? Because I want a big part, I want a big one. We have a reason with somebody last night. Then say, You change, Cutty. Somebody want me to date it. So you're not like this no more. I say, No, you know. Because before those, before you, I had certain standards. I'm going to drop them. Because my thing say that it's okay. And you see which turn up in the right. So I set them back and now you have seen the difference because we start applying them. Because there are certain things I'm used to do, you know, literally. But me tell them. Me tell them one secret about me. I have a rep of man in some of the area. I fly to one time and it's scared me see me start approach and say hi. I may have said to myself last night, so this no not sense, like literally. Because you have standard, man. I don't ever fact you ever see if I talk to. I'm a stay so stand down and realize eh? when I start applying them, your value turn up even more. Yeah. Me say you say if the sheep then stay in at the place of Father God, the way the shepherd they have them, when a time for them ready up, them white pure and clean. Value gone up. Value gone up. Me have to say to myself, so cut it. No, sir. No, brother. Stick to your standard and realize that yes, no, no, the people that must start approach you. You have to wonder who they must talk to. Can you say, who man of your caliber, who you see if you talk to? But you have to remember, say, yo, mm hmm. Because you remember your standard. And you apply them now. And you realize, say, where you will settle for, not even make no sense compared to what it's store for you. So then you have to remember now before, say, no, sir. Why are you doing all of this and you have a set standard in your life already? Why take something less? <laughs> yeah, as a true believer. As a true Buddha do one time, girl is, yeah. About life. We're not telling a lie. But then we have realized now, say, standards need to apply. So let me ask you this. What standard have you started in your life? Probably attempt it one time. In a work out there, you give up. Go back to it. Stick to it. Stand on it. Because if you not stand on it, you expect nobody that you invite will. A man in smoke. Humble. Open and transparent. Mm. It's okay to break the rules if it's not. Align with your spiritual standards. Oh, Father, child, man, wise man himself, forward and right timing, man. 
standards can break if it not align with the spiritual life. I will go back to the shepherd, I will go back to the sheep and understand that we are sheep to the shepherd, which is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He had came to show us the way, lead us to new pastors. Again, we are sheep and he have standards for us to live by. And when we feel those standards, we feel not only ourselves but him. Even though in him tell you, you know, if one sheep God I'm going to come after him, I left the 99 and I wish part in state them and come after you. We could not just use that door as something where we are going to say, yeah, if we run away tomorrow, God is going to come for me and come save you. Yeah, we run and jump in one hole where he can't do nothing else, but he's dead. Okay, run and jump in a somewhere where he never did for you. Let me just say that. So not because we know the Father God is going to come for me and save you. Make we go jump out a standard and say, Father God, do what you need for do and do what you support. No, you take Father God for boops and then so you think I go go. You can't take the general for no boops. So I could just pray. So when I take him for no boops, like we know, say, I'm going to do a sir. You know, I'm going to grant the life tomorrow. I know I'm going to hear you say thanks. Cut the bank calm down. Remember, you have standard. Don't go. I know you get passionate when I talk about God. And you go in your feelings. Not do it this morning. More, I never talk to myself. You know. I remind myself of the standard that I'm setting. You know. I think there are times when I have to do that too. Remind yourself of the standard them where you set. See it there? DJ I tell you there. In a father try. It's okay to break rules if it is not in line with the spiritual standards. That is it. It is that. So this man, I could just pray. I will say, Father God, as our shepherd, lead us the right way. So most righteous and heavenly Father, mighty God, as we thank you for one more opportunity that you have given us to stay on this platform for using us as vessels. Mighty God, you have put us in situation just so we can use it as material to build on your word. So mighty God, this morning as we build that, you are our shepherd and we are your sheep and there are certain standards that you have set for us. So mighty God, only way we have break the standards, mighty God, unless it doesn't line up with you. So I think we're going to break certain stuff that we think that is best, but no, if it's not of you, we're not going to do so. Mighty God, again, we thank you for your wisdom. Not only that, we thank you for your understanding that these are stuff that you already prepare and set for us, and all the thing we need to do is just apply them. So, anybody on the platform this morning that have step or drop their standard, let them just pick it back up and stick to you again. We have standards of ourselves, we have standards of our situation but let us just focus on the standards for you this morning mighty god again thank you for your space your platform where us being here as a vessel to be used as you say so again thank you for all the people that have come across thank you for the people that have actually received some message and willing to give it to somebody else because again we're here to share so again we thank you for using us as your son and again as mighty god as your child in Almighty God as your sheep, in your name I pray. Amen. You know, I'm all in smoke, humble, open, and transparent. We're there this morning. And we have standards. And even though we're tired, we could not now use the opportunity where Father God gave it for no company platform to tell somebody, say, there are standards the kingdom is requiring for you to stand on. Stand on them this morning. Much love, blessings, and peace to each and everyone. 25 30 minutes your time, I ask for. I am there this morning. I'm going to say, say, Father, I got granted the opportunity for there today. Potentially, now you. In spite of your situation, your circumstances, and your losses of yesterday, and give you another opportunity today. Matter of fact, I can get the willpower. I know how you click the life for the permanent smoke this morning. But our Father God give you the authority to do so, to choose. And I'm asking you this morning, choose Him and His standard, not man and theirs. Much love again. A man in smoke. I know I love nothing but the love of Jesus. <laughs>